call is to, you know, go and plant trees under which you will never sit. Take time for them to grow. The shade that will be present there, you know, that will give relief to people that you may never see. And that's not an easy ask to make. But 70 years ago when the first donors to the foundation in their estate planning initially planted you know, a tree under whose shade they would never sit, they, they responded and said yes. And this is the result, you know? I mean, I think it's just the, the time I got to spend with my grandfather coming into the sanctuary and getting to sit next to him and drawing the dome and drawing the stained glass think about them all the time, but I remember my grandfather uh, donating to the foundation. You know, he kind of explained to help other people. And so that's a tradition that we continue, hopefully pass along to our kids. I think about the people who started PCHAS, Presbyterian Children's Home. It's a social work organization that helps kids and families, and it's something really close to my heart. This church started that ministry in 1903, they started with four kids and now it serves over 4,500. And the foundation still supports the work of PCHAS to this day. We went to the stew pot and we saw where people who have been experiencing homelessness and so many struggles in their lives and they are creating the most beautiful artwork. Every piece you could feel the Persian story in it and you could feel all that they've came from and yet there's still so much joy in the pieces and we just were sold on, on the mission and mm -hmm. really wanted to be part of a church that supported that. For me at least, not growing up in a church, seeing that firsthand, it, it kind of drew me in naturally to, to want to uh, grow my own faith. So at the age of 23, I decided to, uh, to become baptized here and we decided to become full members of the outreach programs that the church as a whole supports as well as the foundation. That, that's the reason why we're here. The foundation has continued to evolve as the church has and their support of you, Kirk, really just showcases that the foundation and the church welcome you and will support you. Fall of 2020, I was stepping onto SMU's campus for the very first time, never seen it before, and I was starting this journey of being a double major in pre-med and dance. As a transfer in the middle of a pandemic, I was not prepared for the social isolation that I experienced. You know, school was hard. I was struggling to be a competitive pre-med student. And at the same time, my dance classes, it was like nobody knew why I was there. I prayed, God, it's been four months and I don't really feel like I have a friend. Like, not one, not a single friend. And then I was introduced to Kirk, the PCUSA ministry on campus. That started to be something I looked forward to every single week. And they talked about God's love in a way that inspired me and empowered me. And I remember texting my mom and being like, I found my people. That marks the change in trajectory. I started to feel like I was getting a grip on my STEM classes. I was cast in a dance piece and suddenly I had a name. Suddenly I was known. Suddenly they knew who this new transfer was. Newkirk is the only open and affirming ministry on campus where one can heal and find God again in a safe place. I don't think enough can be said about how important that is for young people finding their way in the world. I have seen in a year how much change and how much healing and how much light has come through Newkirk doing the work to build the kingdom of God right here at home. An individual who decided to donate to a foundation 70 years ago could have never imagined that act has changed my life completely. Transformation is not only possible, it's happening at Presbyterian camps and retreat centers, through scholarships for the next generation of PCUSA leadership, by caring for women affected by substance abuse, partnering with missionaries around the world, offering faithful end-of-life care, and developing Encore Park as a place of abundant welcome. An investment in the foundation is an investment in the church's future and our potential to do transformative ministry in the years to come. From our estate planning and leaving the foundation in those plans to giving to the foundation in honor of our boys' birthdays and our anniversary. We are donating to something bigger than ourselves that is gonna to continue to have an impact on people's lives years into the future. The foundation 
makes that possible.